Aloha. My name is Cheryl Matsuoka, the Executive Director of the Hawaii Restaurant Association and the Hawaii Restaurant Association Educational Foundation. Thank you so much for joining me here in Restaurants of Hawaii on the Think Tech platform. Today, we have a great show. We will be discussing how you can get involved by supporting this event and again, supporting our educational foundation and our youth. The Top Tracer Golf event serves as a fundraiser for the Hawaii Restaurant Association Educational Foundation, which channels the raised funds towards providing scholarships and teacher grants at the culinary schools of, of our culinary schools in 11 local public high schools. The Hawaii Restaurant Association Educational Foundation, fondly known as the HRAEF, has established a vision to boost Hawaii's restaurant and hospitality industry by offering educational programs, fostering industry engagement, and promoting the, the industry to our upcoming generation. So today, we're going to be talking about our next fundraiser, which is the Top Tracer event. Uh, I'm going to first start off with explaining a little bit about how it started. The Hawaii Restaurant Association Educational Foundation, again, fondly known as the HRAEF, has an amazing board of directors. There's 25 board directors, and they're passionate about supporting our future culinary superstars, our future culinary leaders. And as a board, we're always brainstorming different, different ideas. How can we engage students and engage the, the community in supporting our culinary efforts? And when you participate in the HRAEF's fundraisers, such as the Top Golf, Top Golf, I'm sorry. Top Tracer Range Fundraiser, you will be supporting our 11 local high schools that are participating in the Pro Start Culinary Program. So who's the mastermind behind this fundraising event? It's our board director, Justin Matsukawa. Justin Matsukawa came up with this idea, and this is our second year in doing it. So Keith, please, for members and subscribers, please. Go ahead and describe our Bayview's Top Tracer range event. Thank you, Cheryl. Yeah, so Top Tracer is actually a branded technology that uh, uses cameras to track the ball. So you can stand on the driving range and hit the ball several times, and you can actually play a full round of golf by not leaving the driving range. So we're turning the Bayview driving range into uh, more of a lounge restaurant atmosphere. So we have 34 teams that will be competing. They're playing from, from each of their stalls. They're in three-man teams. We also have three VIP rooms, which, um, which will hold eight people each. So all of these um, golfers will not only be able to golf, but they'll be eating some great food, drinking some great drinks. We have four high schools participating. Um, we have Pearl City, Lelehua, Castle, and Kohala High Schools serving food. Um, as well as Kitchen Door Napa, it's my restaurant, <laughs> and uh, Luna's Hideaway at Bar 35. Also, Chung's Meat Market is serving up a whole roasted pig. So that kind of gives you the idea of the scope and the scale of the food. And then the beverage is um, generously donated by RNDC. We're going to have four bars that will be serving up cocktails and drinks and all sorts of fun. Thank you, Keith. Well, since we're talking about the beverages, let's go ahead and Move over to Tim. Tim, thank you so much for providing the, the beverages for this event. And, you know, Hawaii Restaurant Association Educational Foundation greatly appreciates RMDC's ongoing support and partnership. And, and as you know, Tim, food and beverages are a huge part of any event's success. So we really appreciate RMDC setting up the bars. Why don't you share with us why RMDC is stepping up again to support this event? Well, well we're just, we're honored and, and excited to be involved in this event and with the uh, HRAEF. You know, we, we, I think about um, what we can do to provide back and give back to the community. And, and, and what, what better event than, than Top Tracers? Um, we have some fabulous um, products we're going to be serving. Tito's Vodka, Jack Daniels Tennessee Whiskey, um, 1800 Tequila. We'll have some RTDs from Cutwater. We'll have some local products as well. Kaloa Rum will be represented. And some fantastic wines from the Sonoma and Napa region. But 
you know, we're, we're, we're excited to be a partner with, with, uh, with this organization and this great event. We're excited to uh, be the adult beverage, uh, you know, sponsor for the event. And uh, we're excited to see everybody there. Thank you so much, Tim, again, for, for providing the beverages. And now, Miss Katie, you were there last year. This is our second annual. And so from your perspective, why don't you share with our viewers and members a little bit about what you experienced last year? Oh, yeah. Last year was a lot of fun. And I think an important thing to note is that this is for everyone. You don't have to be a golfer don't have to be a foodie but it helps because food is delicious um wide range of food it's it's a party atmosphere it's so much fun and um from my perspective i was watching the students the students were active and uh talking to the guests serving up the food keeping the area clean so really being active in restaurant work uh going around and interacting with the guests and at the end of the night i just i loved getting to hear their impressions of working with the other school all oh, the kids from lelehua were so nice and the kids from castle all competing to see who gathered more business cards and who's going to get in touch with someone for potential opportunities in the future so it's a it was a great perspective to see from the students view and what the students got to contribute and learn and really take from this event Thank you, Katie. And, and can, could you please talk a little bit about the HRAEF's um, involvement with the 11 public high schools and the ProStart culinary program that's in the high schools? Sure thing. So ProStart is a National Restaurant Association curriculum for culinary high school students. Um, Katie is our coordinator, and so this curriculum is in these 11 high schools and, and soon to be more. But um, for us, our fundraising efforts really go to supporting the teachers, giving them the support that they need to engage their students and get them interested in becoming chefs and cooks in our, in our industry. Um, we supply grants for the teachers to be able to outfit their kitchens, to buy product, to kind of sponsor trips, to go uh, field trips. Um, and we also offer scholarships. So right now our scholarship committee on the HRA EF board is diligently going through our scholarship applications to be awarding um, some scholarships. I think we announced them on March 13th, but I've seen some of the applications. They're all really amazing. These kids are, are pretty amazing. Some of them are presidents of their organizations. Some have won FCC LA culinary competitions already. So they're very promising and, and looking to continue their culinary education at, um, at the community college level. So our scholarships go to help that. And then we also just provide internship mentorship programs for the teachers and the students as well. So lots going on with the educational foundation. Yes, always lots going on, right, Katie? Always lots going on. So, Tim, so, you know, we still have tickets available, and the tickets for the team, it's a team of three. The tickets are $500 per team. And so, Tim, what do you think the, the people who are participating, running teams, coming to the event, what will they benefit? How will they benefit from attending our Time Tracer event? Yeah, I mean, I don't even, don't even know where to start. I mean, I, there's nowhere I'd rather be that afternoon than at this event. From a consumer perspective, just just the value uh, of the ticket and the admission for your team is, is, is incredible. I mean, you get to eat and enjoy food from some of the best restaurants in Hawaii, some, enjoy some of the best brands, adult beverages in the world, really. You get to support teachers, uh, 11 local high, school, uh, high schools, students. Um, it's a great social event. It's a great opportunity to compete. It's going to be a fun competition. So if you're competitive, you definitely want to be there. So, I mean, just to summarize it, if you're competitive, you like good food, you like good beverages, you want to give back to the community, there's really no place you'd rather be than as, at this event. I'm going to be there and uh, look forward to seeing you all there. Thank you, Tim. And Katie will tell you, Tim, yes, you're right. It's great restaurants. But you know those four dishes that the actual high school students that are actually going to be making? Last year, Katie will tell you, everybody loved one of the school's dishes and they, they voted that one the best. It was even chefs who were at our event, right, Katie? They are still talking about it. And we've got some good ones on the menu for, for this, this event too. A wide range too, from appetizers through desserts. I'm really excited for this one. 
Yes, yes. And as you mentioned, Tim, you know, everything's included in the $500, the team of three, unlimited range balls, unlimited food and beverages during the play, um, team challenges, great prizes. It's a great family event as well as a team building event. And the date is March 28th. It's a Thursday. And it's the day before Good Friday, which is a holiday for many. And this was all established and created by Justin again. He's the one who said, hey, you know, many people are off on that Good Friday. Let's do it on that Thursday night. And he it's true because many people say, let's go do something with the family or let's go do a, a team bonding thing for work. It's just a great, great event. So now I'm going to go back again to Keith. Keith, is there anything else that I missed that you wanted to bring up about this event? I have a couple of other questions for you, but before I get into the question, is there anything else I missed? Sure. So I think thinking, Justin, again, what a mastermind to put this all together. Who would have thought like to do a world class food and beverage event on a driving range? So I think that's that's really special about this this event. And just reading through some of the menu items, I know Kohala High School is bringing Pipikala Poki from the Big Island, which is going to be amazing. There's some prosciutto Oshizushi, which I think I want to have right now. And then wonton min. So all sorts of fun things. And then we at Kitchen Door are going to do our signature fried chicken. So it's going to be something, something else. Nice, nice. And Keith, do you want to share about other initiatives that we have going on at the Educational Foundation? Right. So our main purpose is to raise funds for our kids and for our teachers. Um, we have a silent auction coming up at the Hawaii Hotel and Restaurant Show, which is on March 20th and 21st. Um, we are also sponsoring a hole at the HRA golf tournament in May. And then our signature event is the best of Hawaii's best kitchens at the Hyatt in September. And that's that draws out um, great restaurants. We thank Daryl Chalk for making HRAEF the benefactor of this great event. Um, and then throughout the year, we're doing all sorts of fun, fun things. Yes, yes. And and you can just go to our website, hraef.org. That's hraef.org. We always post all of our events there. And you want to be involved in supporting an organization that's supporting our future culinary um, leaders. This is the event and this is the foundation that will do that. So now I'm going to go back over because I, I think there was a couple other things that I miss anything, Tim. Uh, that oh, what other involvement does uh, um, RNDC have with the EF? Yeah, well, the top tracer is coming up. We're really excited about that. We do it every year, of course. Uh, the golf tournament, we'll, we'll be involved in that golf tournament as much as you you would like us to be. So just just uh, say the word, and we'll get involved in that. And then the best of Hawaii's best kitchens, we're involved in that uh, event every year, and we're excited about that as well. And and then throughout the year, there's various you know pauhanas and, and things of that nature that you know get togethers that that you all host that we're happy to be involved in. So. We're we're, uh, we're 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 a big supporter, and uh, anything you need our help with, we're happy to help with. Thank you, thank you. We really appreciate it, Tim. Now, Katie, do you want to talk about the um, sponsors? Oh yeah, well, uh, we're we're very happy and grateful. Thank you so much to our sponsors, Tim, of course, from RNDC. Thank you so much for all your involvement in this and all the other events. Uh, we also do have Odom providing soft drinks and water. Uh, Chef Zone is going to be one of our sponsors for this event, along with others that we do. Honolulu Beer Works, uh, Foodland, the Sullivan family of kitchens and then of course our um all of our participating vip teams who will be joining us are have big sponsors for this event and for the ef and we appreciate it. thank you thank you so much and the the three vip rooms were sold out immediately so we really want people to start you know thinking about putting together a team buying a team for just five hundred dollars enjoying you know a great night and it's a shorter game tim because it's not like you're on a golf course but you are on a golf course i don't know how to explain this but it, it's a shorter game it's not as many hours as you know you're playing out in a course it's in the evening you know it starts at six so it's cooler um our vip room sold out quickly uh we want to thank them Shobu's Air Conditioning, Eco Clean, and Century 21. They took the VIP room so quickly, but we still have 
regular stalls, the $500 stalls, still available. So as we said earlier, go to our website, hraef.org, sign up there for a, a stall because they are going to also go out pretty quickly. Now, um, Keith, is there anything else I missed about the actual event itself? Um, you know, because it is a shorter event, it's not where it's a uh, four hours, right? Normally golf, Tim, is like four hours in the sun. So this is what, six, from six to nine? So in three hours, and you're staying on the driving range at Bayview. So it's a pretty unique setup. There's a, a there's two two decks of the uh, at the at the venue and we're going to have four bars there to make sure everybody has has a cocktail or a, a refreshment as they're enjoying the food and playing golf um, and that it's it's just really unique that you can be there with your teammates and you can be serious about the competition or you can be serious about the food you can be serious about the bar you can do all things and then throughout the throughout the evening there are going to be other competitions going on and other fundraising opportunities for us as well and then just to mention again so it's going to be uh, luna's hideaway at bar 35 doing some food as well as chun's, chun's meat market with the whole pig which i'm looking forward to and of course kitchen door with the fried chicken and then our four high schools um which is going to be amazing to see all their food i'm really looking forward to the pipicala pokey Yes. And that's one of the things Katie worked so hard on is getting a well-rounded menu so that, you know, we don't have just the same type of food um, that we're serving. So just envision this, um, viewers and subscribers to this channel. You're in a stall in the evening at 6 p.m. So it's nice and cool in Kaneohe. I don't know if a lot of people know this is at the Bayview Golf Course. And you're with your friends and like... Um, Keith Molini said, it's like a lounge. All the food gets delivered to you. And um, you you would have to, of course, go get your beverages, but all the food is delivered to you. But you will also have a an ice chest there where you can also put your beverages in. Um, the utensils are there, the, the plates, everything is there in your stall so that you don't really have to leave your stall. It is kind of a lounge, right, Keith? Yeah, definitely. So it's where else can you golf and then have and be catered to and pampered with food? All the high school students will work 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 their little legs off running the food from the preparation area to the to the decks and delivering right to the stalls. Right. And Tim, you've golfed at these types of um, driving range events before. I, I have. They're a ton of fun. I mean, it, I, like like I mentioned earlier to to just relax in a nice, cool environment, get served by students, great food, uh, unlimited beverages. Uh, and, and, and by the way, one thing I'll note is there's going to be a wide variety of, of, of beverages to enjoy with the food. There'll be wine, there'll be um, cocktails, there'll be beer, um, whatever it is that you enjoy uh, pairing with food, you'll, you'll have the opportunity to do that. So uh, pre pretty excited. Nice, Tim. And Tim, overall, how does RNDC view community engagement opportunities in Hawaii? Because you have been such a valuable partner and sponsor of the Educational Foundation. But how do you view community engagement opportunities? I mean, it, it's to say it's important, it would be understated. I mean, for us, giving back to the community is something we're passionate about, something we enjoy doing. Um, it's a big part of what we do. And uh, and I'll, I'll go on record and say that I was just able to post a position last week that will drive this initiative for us on the island of Hawaii moving forward. You know, my entire team does it uh, as a part of what we do. You know, we we all have quote unquote day jobs, but we do this uh, in addition to that because we enjoy it. And it's so important to us. And we're, we're hiring someone to focus on this so that we can take it up to, an, to another level. So we're really excited about it. It's important. We love it. We enjoy it. And anything we can do to help, RDC is here to help. You're so awesome, Tim. You are so awesome. We're just so blessed to have you as one of our partners. Thank you. So we have like five minutes left. And Katie, I just want to go with you first. Is there anything you, we, you would like to mention that I missed? And then at the end, if you could just share with our viewers and members what you're looking forward to this year's Top Tracer event. 
well, not necessarily anything that you missed, um, but I loved how you were describing how the food is delivered right to everybody's stalls. I think the uh, the cool thing about that really, though, is the schedule. Is really people come, they check in, they get to their stalls and get settled in. There's already a treat for them waiting. I hope I didn't sur spoil any surprises, but no, we, we've got everything ready for you to come in and enjoy yourselves. But then once it gets kicked off, we're on a schedule. So every 20 minutes, a new dish is being delivered to those stalls and i think that's really the thing that makes it so cool is you're not even thinking about it that you're just participating hitting those balls and then you turn around and there's a new treat for you so i think that's really kind of one of the special things about this um what am i looking forward oh, i'm just really looking forward to seeing these kids i think um the impressions of one school working with another school and then hearing them talk about working with those other students and getting getting to know kids from elsewhere was really the great thing. And for this event, we now have four schools attending. Last year was two. And one of those schools is even coming from Big Island, Kohala High School. So um, this is a very big deal. And we're, we're really, um, really grateful for it. Um, I think it's, it's a really great thing to be involved in. So thank you. It is, and we're grateful for sponsors like RNDC because if it wasn't for Tim you know, helping us, right, because it is a fundraiser. Katie, it brings tears to my eyes because I do remember the students all speaking to each other, chatting among each other. We had different schools, just like this year, we'll have four different schools, and they're all comparing notes, and as Katie said, so excited because this is an opportunity for them to be networking with businesses, you know, with business owners, with people who are in the careers that they're in. And so they're really excited. And as Katie said, they're collecting business cards and taking notes and writing things down. Their, their sense of enthusiasm and excitement, right? As they're entering our industry is just amazing, Katie. Just amazing. So blessed. And we always have their teachers there, right, Katie? Yes, yeah, we've got great teachers coming. Um, I, I love connecting with them too, and they get to see each other. You know, it's it's different for a culinary teacher to connect to their math or science teachers on either side of them, but to connect with other uh, culinary teachers is great. And and they're all wearing their chef coats. The the students are wearing their chef coats. They're learning how serving. They're learning portioning. They're delivering. So it's a it's a great experience for the students. Till so, Tim, any final comments? And is there anything special that you're looking forward to at the Top Tracer event? Uh, the final comments I would say is I, I'm I'm really looking forward to just the event in its entirety. I'm looking forward to meeting people. Um, giving back to these wonderful teachers and kids, eating some wonderful food, enjoying a couple of cocktails, um, just getting to, know, getting, getting to know people. You know, I've only been on the island seven months, so I'm looking at it from a, from a networking perspective myself and just getting to meet the future leaders of the hospitality industry in Hawaii is gonna be exciting. Just to see that excitement in their eyes and, and watching them walk around and be so proud of the food they're serving and the people that they're meeting, it's just gonna be an exciting event. And uh, if you're a consumer, you're gonna wanna be there for all the reasons we've talked about today. So thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, Tim. And and you're so right, Tim. On all of the takeout containers, which is donated by Waihata, there'll be a label on it. And the label will say the school logo and mm. the name of the dish. And when they're handing it, Tim, to everyone, right, Katie? So proud. Yeah. So proud because they made the food themselves in their so cool. the future. Tim is so, it's such an amazing for them to see people enjoying the food that they made. That's what it's all about, Tim. That's so incredible. It's amazing. <laughs> okay, Mr. Keith. So before we wrap yes. up, anything else you can share? Any final things that I may have missed? And what are you looking forward to when you attend the event? Well, I'm actually looking forward to being there this year. Last year was the the event was on the actual day that we opened Kitchen Door out at of a beach so i wasn't able to attend so i'm really looking forward to the creativity that's involved this year from the kids coming up with the dishes and putting them together um, tim's team will be working with the bartenders to create some interesting cocktails that will be featured um, the chefs that are participating as well able to put their creative hats on and do something out of the ordinary not that they don't usually serve in their restaurant on a day-to-day -day basis so it's it's all the creativity from from Justin's masterminding the entire event 
to everybody involved in putting it together. Cheryl, you putting like pulling all the strings and pulling all everybody in to make sure that we have the forks and the napkins and the water and, and everything else, the ice chests, um, and being able to coordinate that with everybody. So it's a huge team effort by the board of the HRAEF and all of our sponsors and partners. So just seeing it all come together and come off as a as a perfect event is is going to be amazing to see. Thank you so much. And Keith being the chairman of the Hawaii Restaurant Association Educational Foundation, it's just been a pleasure having you there. So in my closing remarks, please go to the HRAEF org website sign up for the top tracer um, golf range fundraiser held on thursday march 28th it's the day before good friday and meant for many good friday is a holiday at 6 p.m i mean you can hit balls have fun and it's in the evening includes a team of three unlimited range balls unlimited food and beverages during play all the team challenges great prizes it's just going to be a really great event so please sign up we have a few stalls available we we love to see you there and again my name is cheryl matsuoka the executive director of the hawaii restaurant association and the hawaii restaurant association educational foundation the hawaii restaurant association is the organization unifying representing and supporting hawaii's restaurant and food service industry now remember everyone, please nourish connections, savor life, eat well and live well. We'll see you at the next show.